book is a story of the journey of 12 American military people to a planet in a star system that is 39 light years from our sun on an alien spacecraft and their habitation there for a period of 13 years. They looked very much like smaller versions of us with five fingers and toes. They had a brownish complexion, very large eyes, but their physiology was totally different. We had, we had autopsy, two or three of them, as a result of the alien crash at, at Roswell. So we knew a great deal about how they functioned. To travel 39 light years in about 10 months means that the craft was traveling at approximately 40 times the speed of light. It had to involve some sort of wormhole travel, and we, dis we discovered that that is exactly what happened, that the alien craft went through wormholes uh, which are sort of like folded space. And travel through a wormhole is virtually instantaneous. But it required a certain amount of stellar navigation to get to and from the wormholes. And that's where the 10 months were taken up. Through the wormhole itself, they were able to travel vast different distances throughout the galaxy instantaneously. They also had sort of some sort of antimatter propulsion on their craft, which they also used. One of their devices that they call the crystal rectangle was actually a antimatter device that was used to power uh, all of our equipment when we got there. One of the Americans died en route to Serpo of a respiratory problem. His body was taken by the Evens, and our people did not know what happened to it. The commander of the team asked the Evens what happened to the body, and he was told that the body no longer existed. They said to him that uh, they have used it to bioengineer other creatures and to clone other creatures. Our people did not really understand anything at that point about DNA or about genetic engineering, so that explains why he would view it as some sort of evil practice when really they just viewed it as science. Anonymous mentions that the Evens had particle beam weapons that they use in a war that lasted 100 years. Apparently these weapons are similar to what Nikola Tesla called the death ray in the early 1920s. They're in a class of directed energy weapons which project a stream of ions or electrons at tremendous velocity approaching the speed of light, with each individual ion packing up to a billion volts of power. The bottom line is nobody is more committed to manned spaceflight, to human exploration of space, than I am. This is, a, this is an island that is really more like the large aircraft carrier, totally owned by the United States military, and with a very long landing strip, totally isolated, totally secure. And this was where they returned in 2009 and 2011. The Public Acclimation Program is a program designed to gradually acclimate the population, not only of the United States, but of the world, to the alien presence in a gentle fashion. The program is being carried out through various channels, people not even associated with the military. You know, Hollywood is a large part of this, and uh, Steven Spielberg was involved in it. But they're overseeing this, and they're carefully watching it and letting it be released. I consider this story 
kept tightly contained in a top secret facility for 27 years to be the story of the century. To me, it constitutes a complete disclosure in that it confirms the Roswell crash and it confirms the interaction of our military, industrial, and scientific people with alien cultures for over 60 years.